Hey guys, Octa604 here. Today I'm going to show you how to open Dark Souls Remastered in windowed mode and have it sit in the correct position on your screen every time. Um, what happens when you go to open it normally in windowed mode, it will only partially be on your screen, kind of hanging off in the bottom right corner here. Uh, it's a pain in the butt for people who are speedrunning Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, especially if you're doing the any percent force quit category because um, you'll be obviously force quitting the game a lot and every time you open it it'll be in an awkward position um, the only way that to fix it usually is you just change the resolution to something small and deal with it wherever it opens on your screen but today we are going to find a way around that Just a side note, uh, for people who are doing any percent force quit, if you want to still be able to use alt and spacebar to pause the state of the game, which is obviously very useful for when you're doing wrong warps, you are going to need to change uh, a setting in the program I'm going to show you. So you can either skip ahead to that or uh, just stick around and I'll cover it. We're going to be using a utility from the Microsoft Store today. It's called Microsoft Power Toys. It's got a bunch of utilities in it for productivity. Um, just makes your life a little easier, especially if you're multitasking on one screen. So first things first, you're going to want to go to the Microsoft Store, look up Power Toys and install it. Alright, so once we have Power Toys installed, we'll go and open up the settings for it. And go Fancy Zones. Fancy Zones allows us to create zones for different windows, and we can make it so that it remembers where the window was open last and it always moves it back there. So we'll make sure it's enabled. Go to Layout Editor, create a new layout, select Grid. I'll click on this little divider here, and then I'm going to tab until the divider is selected, hit delete, tab until the other one's selected, hit delete. Now we have one single zone on the screen, we'll save it, and then we go to here and edit the spacing until the blue outline is all around the edge of our screen, make it the default, and save it. Once that's done, here and I'm going to do move newly created windows to their last known zone. That's how it's going to remember where it was and it will move it there for you every time. So we'll do that and then we'll make sure that we have override window snap turn on. And lastly we go dashboard and it uses Alt and Space to open Power Toys Run. That's obviously the keybind that we want in order to pause the state of the game, so we'll turn that off. And now that that's done, here, we'll open Dark Souls, and then I'm going to use Windows and Left on the directional pad to move it to the right spot. And now I close it. And personally, I like to go in here and go to Fancy Zones again. I will change this override window snap. I'll turn it off again because I actually like using the windows and arrow key to move my windows around normally. Um, and now that we've done it once, we don't have to do it again. So we'll save that. So now when I hit play, it moves it right back to where we want it. 